Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting and evening and amazing spectacular propaganda cast from your host, Imperial Dane, Master of Propaganda. Author to a 1v1 on, you guessed it, it's Bukashi and author is Bulat fighting for the Red Army. The Soviet Union, Comrade Stalin here with the 7th Mechanized Core. We got Guard Motor, NKVD, and he goes straight for Advanced Warfare with the T-35, Radio Intercept, Conscript Assault Tactics, Infantry Repair Kits, and the Stormwing Attacks with Anti-Tank Grenade, multi Range, and Mine Bullets in the Range from the South, that is Pan Mugwan. Fighting for the Wehrmacht, Germany, Deutschland. Here with the, oh let's just go with first Panther Sean here with Assault Support Festung Armor and Jaeger Infantry with Pantherfast Mine and Anti-Tank and Bulletin. As always a big hearty thanks to my patron supporters, these champions, these heroes are the propaganda cards we get in the business. You too can join their illustrious ranks by pledging on Patreon or joining my PayPal. Links in the description, also no comment, like, share, subscribe, press the bell button. So Sniper Start here for Bulat, looking to bleed out those fascists. Versus and gonna aim you for a two start here for Panamugvan. So there you go, sniper start here. But with conscripts as well, interesting. Will there be any sort of conscript assault packages this time around, or will they just be going straight for the same and upgrade? Oh, we got the summoning of forts here for Bulat. <coughs> Pioneers link down part one in the east, machine gun holding up there as well. And we got a gun of the east away there for Panamugvan. Engineers heading westwards. Can't go out there for Bullard. Ground these and fuel points, sandbagging up, sandbagging up there, heading towards the center with the sniper. So far, Bolden calls not expecting a counter snipe from the opponent because why would they expect a third sniper early on? Definitely interesting combination there, advanced warfare with a sniper. Wonder if they'll be going for any scout cars though. That'd be interesting as well. Ground the point here. Quite otherwise. Second comes caught there for Bulad. Bart wire up there. There you go. First shots fired here in the east between Panmaguan and Bulad. Bit of light skirmish there, but then West Second is about to enc encounter the sniper with a shot right through the face. There we go. Kopenfuhrer Ludwig there is dead. Well, not Kopenfuhrer, they're not the SS. My apologies there. Also, Gobernfuhr is a much higher rank for, you know, some at the front line, blah. Anyways, so it's just an off the cough there. Now, sniper moving back here so far, obviously, possibly still concerned about the possibilities of a sniper or a deep flank here that could try and hunt down there. Sniper, so Blood is being slightly more cautious here. Of course, they know there's no sniper, at least not yet. They, again, thanks to Radiant Set, but there's always the possibility that unbeknownst Blood, a gun of the escort might have infiltrated there. And there you go. Perhaps an attempt there, but it's quickly holded by the sniper in the conscripts. And we do get the M31 there for Blood, the scout car there. Ponies ground the point, the Westwick gun is with the engineers there. No tech yet there. There we go, German sniper, of course, Bullat knows immediately. One advantage, of course, of the radar intercept. There we go, M3, one scout car out there. Which could, as it turns out, be equipped with two 30 cal machine guns. Also, here's another fun note. Apparently, the machine gun the rear collective moved about there along the railing. In fact, from what I can sort of see, most Soviet crews would actually move the third cal up there on the front line, front of the scout car to assist the fifth cal. That way, just projecting not more far apart the front, ignoring the rest of there. Which, I mean, kind of makes sense. But still, little fun note there. Little fun note that came to the Soviets in the M3A1. They very much like having multiple machines in front. I can understand why Relic didn't do that, you know. Could arguably, you know, be a bit tricky to balance. But, you know, if you sort of go by, like, you know... What the Soviets seem to have historically done again, it would have been like you know, shift the machine gun towards like the front as well, so both machine guns effectively could point forwards. Pioneers are trying to finish it off, people are just getting wiped. Still, if we get the M31, it would almost would here for Pan Grant versus Bullard. Conscripts have to get there on the M31, the Chang into the Germans, but still pushing ahead here. Conscripts have been caught by the M42, and there you go, M31 abandoned the crew, stumbling out quite dead. And we go, M31 kaput here, pushed it farther with it. Always a bit of a tricky thing to handle and scout car there properly. Sometimes it goes well, sometimes you push to far and lose it. Jam Snarber there's also dinged up quite a bit here for Panmukvan. No tech yet, but I would expect tech soon. And of course with the scout car gone, I mean Bulat's a bit short on infantry for now, so definitely want to replace those. Pushing with some fuel point. 
We also got some medics out there for Bullet. Very good. Thumbs up. Provides causes men with needed healing. So it's now there with five kills, almost six. Okay, I'm sniper there with no kills as of yet. There we go. Finally got a kill there, and Yuri drops dead. Nothing further going on the base there of Panmukvan. No tank. I mean, they also got a fairly heavy two on there. Google up, going for another conscort. Panmukvan with a tank. Thumbs up. Oh, cancel set for another Grenadier squad. That's a pretty intense tier one there for Panmukvan. I mean, four Grenadiers, Sniper, and an MG42 is very heavy there. Could also possibly indicate Jaeger Infantry for G43, Ambush Camouflage. Ambush Camouflage, besides just giving combat boost orbs, give it, make it harder for Bulat to use the snipers freely, since, you know, A, harder to find targets, but also a better chance of the sniper just walking into an ambush and getting murdered. At least until they nerf the Ambush Camouflage. Bunker up there, Gunners moving out here. But then again, it does require that they commit to Jaeger Infantry, could still be Festering Armor or Assault Support, though. So it's now the moving forwards. And before to the advancing engineers, they're very good. Suppressed and well quick going to be sent packing, I imagine. Pushing it pretty aggressively. There we go, hit the dirt, and of course the submachine upgrade is unlocked. Again, we'll have to see if Bullock commits to it. So far though, most of the players even they go for Doctrine with it. Typically just tend to ignore it because the seven upgrade is just really good. Enemy forces capturing supply sector. Conflict could push less than point. Needs reinforcing healing. Another kill there on the gun here from the snipers? Yeah, oh they're up there. I'm wondering like where they've gone off to. Jumps on ahead here, three kills so far. Obviously looking for the search numbers, which is probably why Bullet is bringing about the sniper out of the air to do that way, try and make it harder for the German sniper to spot them. But in this case, though, they are not ready for it. Oh, perhaps they are. Let's move to a quad point, but though there's a mine, very good. Back here, minesweepers up there for Panmukvan. Also, tech finally happening there. Still no doctrine, so guessing not Jaeger infantry after all. You kind of would have figured that by now. Oh, search so sniper about to go the way. There you go. Gonna use this bait and poor Heinz paid for his life to just end up being a waste of it. That was less great there for poor Heinz. And we got like to make a nice comment there for Pan Mugran. Do we then get like machine guns or is there something else that Pan Mugran is planning? So and a few questions there open on the field. Tank tank cut out there for Bullat though. Probably gonna be the T7, but could also push for an anti aircraft attack here versus Pan Mugran. I mean both would be very good, but the T-Sin will certainly be more standard good. And there you go, t -Sin light tank on the way there. Like to make a nice company, gonna be likely seeing a pack 40 soon enough from Panmugran versus his stalwart opponent there. He could of course push for the armored car first, but I think he'd be doing that by now already. t -Sin halfway done, plus the timing, you sort of consider most like cert matchups, like by the seven in eight minute mark, you definitely I want to consider the possibility of a T-70, so... I imagine here Pan, Mug Pan Mugvan is going to go for the pack 40 to counter the possible T-70 that's going to be hitting in the face like a break through the window. Sniper still waiting to catch that third sniper, and again, we like just using the sniper aggressively, but again, noting the ability of the snipers make it harder there for just like, you know, Pan Mugvan to predict where the sniper is, thus rendering Pan Mugvan a bit less useful. Which is always the danger that we go for a counter now. These slightly end up doing nothing with it. Oh, we do get an armored car for Panmugran. Aimed as the t hits the field, which is definitely going to lay the pack for now. But he cancels the armored car in time. He will still have to, like, you know, get the pack 40 gun. Yeah? Um, and looks like they, oh, he won't be able to cancel it in time, meaning the pack 40 will certainly be further delayed here. Giving the t and more potential to do damage here to Panmugran and the Germans. And Panmugran continues to have no doctrine chosen here. They continue to be hesitant and see. And a lack of clarity. He needs to caught laying down mines, but are uh, able to catch in time. Arm car around here, the 2 2 2. Gunnies almost being wiped out. Close call there. In these T-Sim strike forts there. Gunnies being sent packing. Panel right flank, in fact, completely looks to melt away. As there is no way of stopping that T-7 without an anti-tank gun or Panther strikes or a lot of armored cars. And one armored car is unfortunately for Panel Gun and not a lot of armored cars.
Uh, Ketrick reinforcing healing, not being healed up against an adoptional choice though for Pan Mugran. There is a remaining hesitancy from the German player here in terms of Dogton. Pull out there, back taking the support company. I'm going to go for some field guns. Good old to the maxims or mortars, but most likely he's going for it. Something for the SIS 3 division field gun, which is, of course is incredibly good. Going to be pushed back for the season of light team. We do get a lot of machine guns, so that means either festering armor or assault support here for Pan Mugran. I don't think he's going to go for Yeager armor now. He's going to come into a lot of light machine guns. Simply want like a lot of D for the fees. So, I mean, I'm probably going to bet on Assault Support that he would definitely benefit from Artillery Field Officer Assistance Forces now, but if you typically see, like, a fork on a deer build with, like, machine guns, it typically, in my experience, tends to mean they're aiming for, like, something bigger in terms of armor, so chances he might try and go for the Tide Tank versus Bullard, but, you know, always run for surprises. Pack 40 out there, the Panzer up can only fear to. Then he's with the Conscripts, bit of a skirmishing here, like, machine forts. Summoning forwards. And right about the conscript. Sent packing mercilessly. Still three kills on the gem side. Again, I just really hoping to catch the enemy sniper, but at the same time, Bullock knows it's there. Like, just, there's no real element of surprise, so he basically just has to get lucky. And until then, that's just 340 manpower doing nothing. Oh! Oh! And even then, like, you know, you just end up waiting so long, you just miss out on these opportunities here for something like this, so... Definitely feel like there's a flaw then, Pan, Pan McVan's counter sniper plan. In fact, close being brought up with the T-70 here with a bit of bad luck. We do get the pack 40 at least there for Pan McVan, that's good. Feel the normal sniper for Black. Again, no surprise he went for that one. None at all, just being pulled back there. Could use the conscript to help repair it with the... Conscript repair kits. Congratulations, Yuri! You're now a welder, but I don't know how to weld. Well, just, you know, don't look at the frame and uh, try to remember to wear a wet mask. Got the Western Point there. Eighteen kills on the sniper. No tech yet for Pan Mugran, and still no Doctrine. The Mog Gem Sniper is still waiting for the Surge Sniper to reveal their face, so he can put a bullet in it. And Bullet, of course, is just playing his Sniper aggressively, yet at the same time, so erratically, that it becomes difficult for Pan Mugran to like, easily catch the Sniper and kill it. So I really think just Pan Mugran should just start bleeding out his opponent, because clearly at this point, Bullet is trying to degree as much as possible, like, in a sense, ignore the sniper. Not directly ignore the sniper, but, you know, just... basically act like the sniper's not, then maybe hope to bait Pan Mugran into making a mistake. And obviously, you can say it's good he's being patient, but at the same time, just, you know, get more out of it just for being the gem, pulling off the same stuff that Bullat is doing, honestly. But that's that. So we got 4 and 4, so 4 and 3. Very close in terms of victory point, pushing through so far, pushing for the victory point there. Very good. The sniper there still waiting for the right time, for the right shot. Tech for Bullock, very good. Of course, also means he can then upgrade his men to seven man status with the mobilized reserves upgrade. Punny has been engaged for the T70. Tech done. Could rush out an Ospin here, for example. Probably like to rush up and you engage, say, go for a Panda 4, then we follow up with an Ospin. Some Stooks here versus Bullock. We've got 21 kills in the search sniper, really doing their part for the motherland. Season 1 and 14, getting the Pioneers at max range. We've got three kills. Close to Betsy on that one. There we go. Mobile Ultra Surge being upgraded. It's pretty much all of the Contract Fortex for the one that is retreating currently, I imagine. And the German Star continues to stand about and doing nothing. Got it on the Season 1 of the Pack 40, and he's got a close being wiped out here, though. Close call there for Pan Mugran, who still hasn't chosen a doctrine here. 
definitely being hesitant or playing their cards close, but I know. I mean, the longer they wait, anyways, like the more likely they just to give away the plan, basically by the absence of a plan, anyways. Like because, you know, at this point, if we're not paying attention, you can always deduce. Okay, my opponent's not going for something like Jaeger Infant. He might have gone for something like you know assault support because there's a good chance he's playing for the big tanks. Tell it off, so I think we should be great addition here. Orbital Blitz could be useful, but also air support. So I mean. At the same time, while you may not want to give away your plan there, but just waiting for as long as possible to go, to go for it. But the problem is, the longer you do so again, the more likely you're just going to give it away by the absence of a plan. But here, Assault Support is not going straight for the Tiger Tank. He's in fact going for the Supreme Core. Thumbs up there. We'll obviously like to go to the Tillfield Officer. Guess there is not. Pretty sad they're not soon, and could actually be, I think, fairly useful, like making things more good for the sniper, just calling it smoke. But anyways, pushing up here. So Sniper gets another kill, 25 kills, halfway to the ace level. Panda on the way there for Pan Mugran. Black meanwhile of course setting up for the T-35. Which will definitely give Pan Mugran's Panda for a bit of a hard time. 26. Just enforcing healing, Panda for halfway done. He's being charged with the conscript, punishment assist. Quick mulch with the shrimp that's the gun of the ears. Burning through them with all speed and haste. Three kills on the sniper. Panda for almost done for Panmugran. Go, Panda for ready for Panda Grand. Should of course upgrade with the Panda Machine Gun. Thumbs up. Sniper's just really hoping that so Sniper shows the head soon so they can pop it off. But again, Bullard continues to move in such a manner there. It becomes difficult for like Panda Grand to predict where the sniper is. Plus, it's also great using the hedges for example to make it harder, like for again like any suspected sniper position, like you know, be easily within range of where his sniper is. So, I mean, there's definitely a lot of, I would say, mental calculation going on here for Bullard. And they're so far paying off quite well. Field gun gets a great in the armor. Cut gun is putting forward to take further sniper hits here. We got 28. We get to Still some time to go for and calling the T-35, but actually not far. He almost has the fuel there. Panda 4, they're uh, calling forwards here for Panda Grand and for Deutschland, the first Panzer Division. Mines there, could also consider an orbital blitz for someone on the fuel pump to increase the fuel income significantly. Since the orbital blitz allows him to effectively just double the income of the fuel point, which would then be the equivalent of having to say two fuel caches built. In fact, it would be better than that. So that could give him a significant economic boost here versus Bullard. who has got his T-3045 on the way. Lots of mine play here from Bullard. Like, good mining here. Thumbs up. It's going to make it harder for Pan Mugran to pull off, like, any attacks. Like, you know, deep dives. So, very good play there. T-3045 almost around the corner here for Bullard and the Red Army. Our opponents are seizing a there we go. So named because of its 85mm gun. So we had the T-34-76 with the 76mm gun. There's also the T-34-57 with a 57mm gun. Which actually had a very high armor penetration. But obviously made less damage all per shot. But it had very high penetration there on it. They weren't producing many no large numbers though. They also theoretically I think had planned the T-34-122 after the war. Using roughly the same gun as the IS-2. But the gun was just too big. Comes to the pushback here. The Pioneers... Pack and Panzer for the backed up with the field gun. Second field gun for Bullard, obviously concerned about German armor. Pan Mugan. Still not really doing much with the doctrine though. Still not doing much with it. I'm a car from Union Country. We've got a telemark down here from Pan Mugan though. Thumbs up. Oh, looks like he. If he's paying attention, can finally get the third sniper and. Did it! Finally killed the snipers. I mean, obviously got some value out of there, but the problem is, I think at this stage, Blood has easily gotten the plenty of value more out of his sniper 
over Panda Grandes there, of course now Panda Grandes can sort of start to catch up. Of course, Bullock could theoretically just go for Candace now, but then kill Panda Grandes now, at which point Panda Grandes definitely lost that overall. Armor cut, they almost knocked out. But yeah, like roughly 30, and then you times 30 of that, and you got like, you know, roughly 900 manpower, so. The surf snipers almost run themselves in like, you know, roughly three times over already. <laughs> roughly, anyways. Seemed like, you know, Pamagran fan did get rid of the sniper there. The uh, overall manpower beat will still mean like, you know, Bullock just got so much more of that. So Pamagran still needs to get a lot of enemies killed with this sniper. Air support pulled in here, got the storm of attacks there. Tearing into the pack 40 crew there. I'll oh, actually got shot down there, but the Altoos Storm League actually had a lot of nicknames, mostly on the theme of this thing is really hard to shoot down, like Flying Brick House, amongst other things. So, little fun fact there. Six kills in the T-70, pushing back the gun of these there. Panda Grand could go for another Panda Fold, of course. He looks to be strong enough for the Tiger uh, Tank. That he may want to consider some other stuff before that. He may want to consider some other stuff before that. Tiefling getting the pack four needs to go up in the head, head so head on. Field gun tang into the two pack four to find the T we got the snap there. Oh move straight from T70. Ah oh, Shiza. Teasing again the lofty ace level before then getting knocked by the pack 40 pan for combo. Still good pushing Bullock, completely pushed Panel Grand back into his base. The front line has for now been secured here by the, by the Red Army. That said, his whole Zalt will extend it, so good kind of push here. Panel Grand could turn the tide around again, in particular since Panel Grand actually has a ton of munitions. He could travel some field gun bar oh, not field gun barriers, but expectation bombs, or some slaving rounds at right times. Could disrupt his opponent. Armor can knock up the field gun before the field gun crew itself gets exterminated. Could choose your rocket launch for Bullock's Matilla for Zone here. That's for Panel Grand. I'm guessing still the uh, Tiger Stall here. We're losing most of the map. It's going to make it a bit harder here for Panel Gun to safely stall for his Tiger Tank. This is the country out in the open. Seizing the point here with the sniper. Four kills. Half 822. Got the MG42 team ultimate hold forwards there. Get you your halfway done for Bullard. 299 versus 289. They're still really close in terms of victory points, to be honest. Really close. Still an officer here, the foreman sniper caught here by the flame from engineers. Close call there for Panda Guns, Sharp Schützer. There we go. BM13 could you rocket truck out there for Bullard. Ooh, mines it off there. That's a bit lucky for Panel Grand, but a bit unlucky for Bullard. Panel Grand boy is loading a lot of munitions at the moment. 400. Heavy pants crop there, so. Maybe not a tiger after all. And it's running to another mine, losing half the squad. Got these two points. Northern field for them being seized. So yeah, despite pushing back into opponent's whole base, Black just wasn't able to hold the terrain. This quickly falls back. Could have for some laid on a lot of mines. Was those, you know, for some making these gains there. For some versus Panda Grant. both flares and regular mines could have helped slow down and think the counter push there with Panda Grant a bit. He's out there, T for the push off the gun to the eastern field point. Well, he's trying to, but it's not quite. Oh, being into the mine, suffers an loss there. Poor Jürgen gets burned a bit. Sniping for it. Five kills, close to 52, but again, as yet to really actually say, catch up with the third sniper. Panel Gun is just not leveraging it very well. Parnies on there for Panel Gun, probably to help with repairs and set up for what else they want to, but again, no clear idea as to what his late game is. Is it the target tank, or is there a possibility of like a Panther short panzer? It is worth noting you do not require the heavy pants to call in the tiger tank, you just need to research tier 4. Six kills in the sniper. Mm. 
Mines was uh, the opposite concern about mines, but also caused the repair speeds. Pack comes in quite for Air Force. Pack for taking numerous hits. Katusha there is waiting to reload that first volley completely with tier for Bullard. Not great for him, but great for Pan Mugban. The molt hate of the Katusha rocket launches and do nothing. Just means a big downtown then where he's just free to do what he wants. to molt from the gun of the UC. Enveloping the fires of the Red Army in the center push for T. Fresh Katusha barrage. Right into the base. I'm going to get lucky here. Got the sniper at you somewhere. But not until it's your way, but this German sniper. No, but no, no, he's not. He's there. For some reason, looking at the wrong end there. Sorry, I'm just a bit tired here. Just a bit tired. So, my mind isn't quite uh, online. Straight to mine there. Jurgen dropped dead. Issue to fight for blood. Obviously. Starting to suspect something big is coming his way again. He's probably sus. I suppose going for the assault support and he's going to go for the tag tank. I mean, he's seen only one Panther 4 and then nothing. So, assuming your opponent's going to go for like uh, the tag tank or something else big is, I think, a very good read in the situation here by Bullard. If we could just leverage that Kajusha better, I would say. And so, I feel like Panel Ground just honestly should just go for something else like some officers, maybe use the docks a bit more because. Again, like, he's already given away he's gone for the Doctrine. Like, he's, you know, 26 minutes of the game, no Doctrine. You don't have to be like a Sherlock Holmes to figure out what, you know, Doctrine that has been gone for. And clearly at this point, we're going for an issue to find. I mean, Bullard has to deuce again. His opponent's going to go for the Tiger tank, so... I just don't feel like there's much reason to, like, not say do some of the other stuff in the Doctrine. Tifa have been caught up with the pack forward against the conscripts in the center. Heavy fighting as well on the west side. Panther 4 looking to support a small push for the fuel pond there, but does not pull through there. Interestingly enough. By the way, each of the running forward to the front line here for Blood and the Red Army. Also equipped with the uh, 85 mm gun, same as in the T 35 but later see itself replaced by the SU 100, which used a 100mm gun. Though that one arrived fairly late to the war. Additionally, the issue 100 suffered the same issues as the Yak Panzer with the higher velocity gun, which is the gun was actually a bit too big for the chassis. Of course, the tank destroyed to list a bit over. It's a little fun fact there. Just moving for the center in before through the T 35 engaging here. Pack 40 nearby. In fact, both Pack 40s here. Panel gun is floating a lot of munitions. There's been no support here, no fragment changing bombs, barely any mines. Definitely feel like he's using his mind a bit more. Could choose there. Almost forgot the sniper this time, so it's close to becoming uh, true. The sniper's dead, but not quite again. Why the pioneers, though? That's actually pretty good with the pack. See, it catch the T-55 in a pretty deadly situation. Pandu Grand, very close to that tiger tank. Easily has the fuel now, but it's still a bit short on the map. Pandu current income's going to be a bit over two minutes here. See, with the reinforcements, all that's still happening. That will definitely slow down the tiger a bit more for Pandu Grand and for Deutschland. We've got 230 to 22. Big two points remain alarmingly, well, not alarmingly, but you know, comparatively very close. Alarming would probably just be more the munitions flowed here from Pan McGran. Like, I'm not entirely sure it's like what he's expecting you to do with them. Could lay down S mines, Tele mines, again, calling the air support. But there just seems to be absolutely no munitions expenditure here from Panugran and Deutschland. Cut the worst quality of the gun of the ears. Blood could go for more infantry, could also go for more support weapons, another field gun, mortars, maxims. I think all of those are very good to, uh, possible solutions here for Blood to the current state of affairs. But so far, though. No chores made there. Oh, we do get a T-34 from 6, playing more armor. I think that's an excellent addition here versus Pan Mugran. Look at it. We'll have to see if we can leverage it very well. Pan Mugran, meanwhile, getting ever close to that Tiger tank. Ever closer. Almost there. We're half a minute away now, roughly. Okay, we'll take a few incidents and accidents. Mine goes off here in the east. Patricia Bausch off again. Max range, though. Which means little accuracy. I mean, obviously, stuff like Kachis were not known for the accuracy. In generally, in World War Two, you generally used rockets for just to saturate an air with rocket fire, not to like you know accurately kill something. 
We went for Howard's so once something killed more accurately. There we go. Tiger out for panel gun and for Deutschland. T for them push back the gun easy in the east, in the center, the pioneers in the far here, pan four dodge your shot finished to five, which takes a hit from pack forty. And the west side of the gun the consequence there. Filming forty eight. Gun these snabbing with the candy with them. We've got an incendiary explosive around here. Or be a backtons patronen. Observation round. There we go. Hit the conscript, stand them up. Field gun for pack, oh, opening up in pack one center position. Titan one forts, pin machine almost done. Could try some air support here, fragmentation bomb. In the southeast, team for pushing forty strain. Pass possibly the pack 40 here. Though with no aim for support here to back it up, that could go a bit less well here for, for Latin effect. Ends up just backing off instead of pulling through. Target weak point here being loaded up. North air point being seized. We've got 199 to 206. Good in the tight chamber, the issue 5. Pen 4 moving back up with pack 40 here. Good in the issue 5. Good in the Panther 4 game for the suit. Tighten the head here. Rolling forwards for Deutschland. 18 kills on the Panther 4. Shits and ready up north here. T for 6 remaining reserve. Or possibly forgotten by Bulati during all the intense fighting. T for the wedding repairs. In fact, we're them. And another field and have a blood versus Panmugran. Pulling back his target tank there for some light repairs. We got 165 versus 206. The match continues onwards. Five kills on the target tank so far. In the East Blots, Chief of Unengaging is here, some Gunnery is trying to probe the Eastern Front here, and Bullard is having none of that. Now the Kuzu Bash, and again, max range, but no line of sight, and no real targets, it just ends up blasting into nothing, which is honestly just a waste of the Kuzu, and particularly at this point, it's like, you know, that more devastating hits. So definitely I would say less an efficient place there by Bullard. Just going for another Conscourt to replace the one lost here to the Germans. We got 136 versus 206. Could line up a target weak point here. That'd be pretty devastating for the T-45. There we go. Target the weak point with this ace anti tank on crew, which is a really good rate of fire. Air support called in here by Bullard, but Panmul Grumbo is still not going for any of it. No strafing runs and no fragmentation bomb. There you go, a bit of streaming training down here on Pamela Grant's Eastern Forces. We got 136 to 106. A stalemate here in terms of victory points, so they're still with the lead to Panmu Grant. And your rules possesses the uh, overall uh, larger force. What will Panmu Grant go for next here versus Bulat? Who knows? And what will Bulat try and do there? I mean, a good push into the Eastern side. I think get behind Panmu Grant's front line here could work out. Chief is hit by a pack, uh, target weak pawn there, could risk being knocked out. There you go. Great kill here for Hanmug Run and leaves, I think, Bullard in a pretty precarious position. He's lost both tanks. He's down just a tank destroyer. The two fields and a bunch of infantry. They're taking off the Katusha, but that's not going to stop any of uh, Hanmug Run's tanks. Sadly, the Katushas won't stop the target, eh? Pants was pinned down, round it. You got 129, it's 206. East side, there we got the country on the point here, T for foot five. Well, it's long gone beyond the point of repair, isn't it? Anything with the country that have a decent fuel. A victory point, 129, it's 205. And finally, at the 34 minute mark, we actually got a straight run here from Panama Grand. The German Luftwaffe is finally unleashed upon the Soviets. So there's plenty of munitions to like go for a fragmentation bomb. Titan engaged with the 5 films of the can't east respond here. Another hit from the 5 films joining in Titan down to half health. In fact, down to less than half health now. 127 to 5. Going 
Lewis and Pomp got the pen for joining in. The center there, so definitely being mauled by the Luftwaffe. 119 was doing a five. Bullard seems to have effected stall out. He was Pan Mugran on the west here. Pan was the conscripts. Morgan Lee's here for Pan Mugran while the Thai tank receiving most needed repairs. Gun is still creeping head to catch in the field guns. Could try for a field gun barrage to be honest there. A field gun barrage. Fragmentation barrage. Sorry about that. Gun is setting out. Got 106 versus 205. Looks like Bullock's just kind of left the match here. Yup. Just waiting for the game to react to it. And there you go. GG game over. Loss for Bullock. A victory for Pan Mugran. I mean, Bullock had a fairly good opening, but again, I feel like the time is a lack of mines, lack of maneuver. And also, pardon me again, really would like to see some consoles upgrades for the sub machine guns instead. I and mean, obviously, again, the Sandman upgrade is just really, really good. But I do think the sub machine upgrade would offer him some other options versus Pamela Grant at certain times, but also just some mortar smoke screens. I mean, there's just, I think, too much reliance just head-on attacks, not enough maneuvering, which made it easy for Pamela Grant to stay, you know, stabilize the fight here against Bullard. So I think there were some issues there. Plus, they could choose, she ended up just not doing too much. I think you should have gone for more tanks first and maybe brought up some mortars instead. So there you go. Hope you got this match. I learned something from it. If you did subscribe, like, share, comment on it, tell friends, tell family, but don't tell enemies. This is Imperial Linkedin. Cheers. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow again for our nice episode. Bye.